but you know whatever I just kind of wish it wasn't there by the way I don't know if y'all can hear what's uh hear the uh, insects <laughs> outside I've kind of got the window open I had to I'm actually sitting beside my uh, I have like a window unit uh, you know air conditioning window unit um, and I turned that off because I didn't want that thing I'm, I'm literally right beside of it I did not want that thing coming on <laughs> while I'm you know trying to record and then just have this and, and <laughs> being picked up the entire time I'm doing this um, and of course it gets hot so I had to I had to have some kind of air circulation so I guess I'm trading off that loud air conditioned noise for the sounds of nature. <laughs> if you can even hear it, I don't know if it's picking up or not. I don't have the uh I don't have my voice playing back in my ear that always messes with me. I've got that part muted, but uh <laughs> So you might not I might just be talking for no reason. You might not even hear anything, but um let me know <laughs> in the uh in the chat. I can't see it at the moment, but I'll I'll look at it in just a few minutes. Let me know if you can hear the uh, <laughs> the insects outside. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy that I'm doing this too. I haven't been able to live stream a lot lately. Um, truthfully, I've been without uh, actual internet for a few months now. I've uh, that's why I've been doing a lot of console gaming. Um, even as of now, I'm using my phone to, uh, to to tether an internet connection. But anymore, um, like with 4G, especially if you have uh, 4G LTE, uh, I, I can download stuff. I, I download like 2.8 megs a second um, on Charter. Whenever I had whenever I had Charter, um, it was I, I could probably get like 1.8, maybe 2 megs. So you know, LTE has for for me in my area, it's been a lot quicker even than uh, than cable. But that's that's what I'm using now to do this, and it's holding up just fine. But for the longest time, I didn't know how to tether my phone to the computer. And as a little placement, <laughs> if anybody needs to know how to do that, I, I put up a video last week that kind of walks through how to get any Android device to tether. Um. 100% of the time uh, because there's a lot of apps out there and especially if you don't know what you're doing you know you plug it in it might work for a little bit but then like I have T-Mobile as a carrier and I would do it for a little while and then it would tell me that I don't have a tethering plan T-Mobile is blocking your access for tethering um, but there is a very 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 simple way around that I just didn't know what it was so I decided if anybody was in that same boat trying to figure out how to do that um, I made a little video that kind of walks you through. It's really easy too. It's I whenever I was trying to learn it, there was a lot of apps and a lot of alternative ways to try to achieve this that were really uh, a lot more confusing than it needed to be. Like I rooted my phone, which I didn't know how to do that, but I learned how to root my phone to uh, to be able to have access to a certain app that would let me tether. Ended up not working. Uh, it was just really convoluted and uh, unnecessary. It's extremely simple to do it. So if you want to know how to do it, I put up a video last week. So that might be helpful to some people. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now to to you know play the game, to stream, all that good stuff. But for the longest time, I didn't even have uh, internet access. So I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to, to stream because it's I enjoy doing it. Even though even though the viewership's not really extremely high, it's you know maybe 30, 40 people live, but eh, got to start somewhere, I guess. I'm, I might 
be able to pull in more people as, as well I won't say sad but unfortunate as unfortunate as it is um, I'd probably have way more viewers if I were doing like rating content like streaming while I'm rating um, but I feel the same way about doing that as I do with playing the guitar it's like I can do it and I can you know I can get the job done but I don't want an audience <laughs> I do not want an audience while I'm raiding, because there's always going to be somebody out there that knows how to play your class better. You know, maybe I'm not doing my rotation the way that they do it, or maybe even the proper way to do it. I can get it done, and I can output the damage, I guess that's what matters, but I don't want to be critiqued on that, because I know how to raid, but um, there's always... Somebody always knows a more efficient way to, to do what you're doing. So I just, <laughs> I'd rather not have an audience for the rating. And also because, truthfully, I don't think my computer is powerful enough to, uh, to do the raid at my graphics setting and record, because I don't use a capture card. I just use fraps, and you know that's uh, heavier on your system than, uh, than if you had a capture card doing all the encoding. But, uh, so I probably shouldn't even <laughs> do a video if I'm raiding, but even if I could, I don't think I would. I don't. I don't want an audience for that. Not at all. <sighs> but we're doing good so far. What? Been streaming for roughly an hour. Doing some quests. An hour, and I'm level eight. Good lord. This is going to, uh. This is gonna take a long time. <laughs> um, just as a little disclaimer, I'll probably only go for another 30 minutes. And then I'll probably be done for the day. I hope to at least get to 10. I might stop at 10 and then I'll kind of see where I'm at. I've been talking this whole time. I said in, in, at the beginning I would just kind of, you know, talk some, and then mainly just play, but I feel like I need to be saying something if the camera's on, or if the, you know, if I'm recording. Oh, walking a tightrope here. One thing I hate about this stuff here is that um, you, I, I tried right before I made the video because I wanted to start um, streaming whenever I was all set up. Uh, you know, I wanted to be have all my heirlooms and everything, and then I tried to do that. And apparently, if you haven't aligned yourself to a faction yet you can't uh, you can't equip heirlooms so I have to wait until and I'll probably align this character with Alliance um, but uh, you can't do heirlooms until you choose which, which faction you want to be I chose I chose female because I, I like their body types better than the, the male Pandaren. Um, like, if... I, I wish there was a male that had the same body structure. Because I, I, I... You know, I was going to do a rogue no matter what. Um, and then I, <laughs> I looked at the males in the rogue gear. And it's just like, that fat thing is not stealthy at all like that just like I know it's just a character but I can't I I can't deal with that mentally <laughs> just this this fat Pandaren um, being a rogue I just I couldn't do it she looks a lot I mean I wanted to do a Pandaren but she just looks like um, she just looks like she could be more stealthy than the, the male Pandaren
And I mostly just, uh, I mostly just did Pandaren because uh, I love their character animations a lot more than, uh, than other classes that are a lot more fluid. You know, and of course that's because they're newer, but I just like their, I, I like their animations better. And I, I know that they're redoing the character models for, uh, for Warlords. Um... But I hope they. I hope that also includes their, all their animations, like their running animations and everything, to look more fluid 